Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to see how it is is how is is this to be the Korman demo with no moves, no new moves. Now what does this mean? Do I go by the MNJ TV rules or more dry bread and small ant rules? Um the latter. Um so that means I can only use the moves the Koroman has when I catch it. Torugan learns is in there just after I get it, well, too bad, I can't use that. Um, also, no duplicates. It would be really boring if I were to just um, use um, use six dig mouse to defeat Volcar. Uh, so, yeah, I will um, I will also use no items in battle, as I will have a full, a full team, and that allows me to do that very easily. Also, no, um, no held items as well. Uh, so, um, let's uh, recap the rules. Only the months of only the moves of the Koroman when I receive them and failure battles. It's only the same amount of months the opponent uses. For example, um, a Jeffrey I can only use three months because he only uses a three one himself. That makes it fair. No glitches or exploits and no items in battle at all, like I mentioned before. Um, I can pick up zero since scratch and kill pose is the best starting set out of all of the starters. Um, I also um, get Amino, which can be traced, uh, traded for Bazzi, and uh, in the early game, Bazzi is very good. But um, I never use it uh, after a planned Bizzle, um, after a planned Bizzle fight. Um, I had to Woodlow Forest and skip on the trainers, uh, most of them, um, and also and also four of the Bizzles. This is because um, I wanted to catch some more team members there. Um, a level a level muffle. With um with scratch, with scratch coin snatch, sand ball and tail slap, and then I need a level eleven bezel that almost swept my team uh, team with slam, uh, rage when I was bees and double sting. Muffle is very good for Volcar obviously. Um, it also knows tail slap which I always said before. Uh, but that's some bonus coverage that isn't really coverage. Um, uh, in one of the forests we actually had some problems with slam jack jack. Um, it became more and more apparent that our moves just are too weak. Um, he said that pin would not die, um, and we would just and we just did four damage to Nibelgar. If, um, if we did four damage to Nibelgar. If Cup Zero would have up, if, if if my Cup Zero would have not leveled up from that Slither pin um, and healed back up to full because of the rules I have set, um, I would have definitely lost. Now I go to Dona Island and I catch a Luman at level 10, a Ghost I'm at level 10, and then an Armadou at level 12. Um, now I now I thought you could get level 13 Armadou in Thunder's Cave. Um, I've encountered several of them but while grinding for my Mina only run. Um, and they stayed in my mind, uh, but they became memorable because because they always lived in one. So I had to watch out for the for the for the level and I always just body blast on those instead of piercing horns. So now I thought you could still get them, um, and so I wasted 30 minutes on stream looking for one, and now they're not a thing apparently. So that's a bummer. Um, also, I would uh, I would also have gotten Mino with piercing horns in the forest, but they only go up to level 11 for some reason. Um, and piercing horns is about just learn a level 11 again. And also now since I won't get our slash from the Armadou, I didn't actually use Armadou. Since I could actually use Aurora and get the same moves. Um, and Aurora also has skilled bows. Anyway, after that, I do the trait and put 10 pot inflating stuff and get an upgrade to all of my mon. And Cup Zero became potent, which was very exciting. In the power tower, Cup Zero, Lumon, and Muffle. Evolved, meaning they got a pretty big boost in power. Jeffrey was not uh, not the easiest to defeat, but I powered through it with Peter by to the powerhouse. I also skipped all of, all of the trainers that were skippable, since um, I want to make the Volcar fight no interesting. I can, also, I, I can always go back and fight them, so um, yeah, I, I mean, I might as well not, not battle them yet uh, and not waste time. Now I need to beat um now I beat, now I beat the um, beat the set vault car and I made a plan in which um I I use all of my mind working together to beat the vault car. 
So first of all, I have Vampire lowering his attack with Swarm Diversion, and then when he gets to minus six accuracy, um, use Cute Pose until he gets to minus six defense as well. And after that, um, I could uh, use Cute Pose. Yeah. Um, if he if he doesn't get to minus six defense by the time um Vampire gets KO'd, then I bring a Ghost Slime and start power slapping away um until his defense is a lot lower. Loom on in now uh, the first piece of attack then comes in dig now and he starts scratching right away until um you know, until he faints as well and hopefully that gets a full card to the second phase um so yeah after that i bring in aro ara and get pose until um aro ara faints after that i bring in peter bite and beetle as my last as, as my last line of defense and start brute forcing bolt car with these really good man uh, really good powerhouses that's the plan anyways, uh, no, so now let's see how it plays out. And stuff did not go to plan. Oh, and the good way, oddly enough, the Empire alone brought Volcar to minus 6 accuracy and minus 6 defense, got into his second phase with scratch, and then used Cute Post two more times before fainting. Um, after a few times, after a few times um, of power slapping him with Ghost Slime to lower his defense, um, I, I bring in um, Dig now, and he does some pretty good damage. Um, I use Scratch, uh, I use Scratch a few times. Also, I also use Arwara a couple times, but um, it was very, very, very unmemorable in this battle. And th that's the challenge. This was too easy. These challenges that led up to this were not. This was too easy. Um, as my first attempt, this doesn't feel right at all. All these challenges that led up to this were just useless. This was undeserved as a win. I did not work hard enough for this. I feel empty inside because I don't have the glory that I used to get from these challenges. It's just the autopilot function just going on and off. Everything is weird. Why? Why do I feel so empty inside? Maybe um, I got too good a Koroman. Maybe I can predict everything. All my struggles during this challenge led up to basically nothing. Maybe it's time I stop doing these challenges and focus on other stuff. And this feels like I cheated my way through these challenges for a long time. And this time it was more prominent than ever. If you've reached a new low, just tell me what you think I should do with the comments, or a new really. And see you tomorrow, and bye.